A big thank you to all of you who like, comment, subscribe and share my videos or through other means support this channel. You are what makes this channel grow and become a resource for other people to learn from. Enough about how awesome you are, back to the video. Welcome back. So it is the first Tuesday of the month, which as always means that we get a new rotation of free assets available on the Epic Marketplace. This month we are getting the Archvis Interior Volume 3, the Palace Hall, a basic multiplayer melee combat system, a safe house and a quest editor plugin. As always, to find these you'll only have to go under the free section and click on the free for the month and you'll be able to see these. So let's check them out in a little bit of more of a detail. Now, probably the most interesting of all the assets in this month is probably the Quest Editor plugin. Let's have a look at its preview. So here we get to see demonstrated some of the features that is available in this. So uh, you have a system that's created in uh, C++ files and Blueprint files. Uh, it is available as a plugin and you have the ability to make use of these dialogue and quest trees uh, to easily set up different relationships and different paths for your uh, quest, which is very useful and something that's often needed for many different games, not only role-playing games. And it has a bunch of different features. It has uh, different branching options. It has optional options. It has uh, exclusive paths that you can go. It has rewards that you can get. It has all kinds of different uh, sub groupings of uh, useful quest and dialogue related uh, options available. So I think that out of all the different assets uh, this month, this is probably the one that's going to be most useful for most people. Uh, it has uh, this preview available. You have a documentation. It has a YouTube channel and also a Discord channel if you want to uh, check them out some uh, more. Uh, this works in such a way that uh, you import the plugin. Let's actually take a look at it. After first having installed the plugin to your specific engine that you want to have, you go into plugins and you can type in quest and you'll find here quest editor. You'll check that and restart the engine and it will be available to you. You'll be able to find it under tools and editor utility widgets and quest editor. And that should open up the, the, the widget that allows you to uh, start creating tasks inside of it or quests and uh, dialogues. Um, so yeah, here you can see the different options that we have available to us uh, that you saw in the, the preview. You also can see a brief overview of the different, um, uh, what's it called, update history uh, as the, the asset has progressed. But it's uh, really easy to get started. Just follow the documentations and you also have the Discord to uh, reach out to if you're running into issues as well. Uh, their Discord, of course, not, not my Discord. Uh, they, they probably want to hear from you if you run into any problems. Um, anyway, that's uh, it regarding this asset. So here we have the safe house asset. This is a post-apocalyptic kind of setting. So we have this warehouse here, which is just the placeholder to keep the safe house inside of. Inside of here, we can see that we have a bunch of different things. We have a vehicle here with uh, some kitting out. Apparently it has gone really badly and this one needs some repair. Uh, over here, we have some greenhouse kind of a setting. Uh, over here, we have a luxury uh, setting for relaxation and over here we have some petrol and some workbenches, so you can work on repairing things. And over here we have sort of a command center where you have different forms of radio equipment and such to find other survivors in the world. We also have some maps here which look pretty nice and sell the setting a little bit. And behind here we have some supplies, so there's food and all kinds of different things here. Also some weapon uh, workbench here as well. And over here we even have a little bit of a prison where we can put people or zombies or whatever it is that we're doing using this asset. 
So it's a pretty straightforward asset. Uh, it looks pretty nice, it's pretty cohesive, the detail level is good. Uh, there's a fair amount of variety, even though the selection of items is not very huge. Uh, it is pretty much what it says on the tin. It is a safe house and all that you need for it. Here we have the Palace Hall asset pack. Now, this asset pack doesn't have a whole lot in the way of meshes. It has 48 different meshes and it has a demo level and an overview level. This is not the lighting that the pack itself comes with. The pack was actually by itself very poorly lit. Um, I'm not sure if that was intentional to just leave it as mundane as possible or that it was supposed to give a certain vibe. Not entirely sure. Uh, but yeah, so, so this is a fairly straight uh, asset pack as well with some assets we can see that we have some cutlery and dinner plates and cloths and tables and chairs and chandeliers and pillars and such things so uh, that's essentially what we have in this asset pack and if we go and just look we can see that we have this sort of uh, building which contains all of our assets and inside of here there isn't much to it other than what we saw in the little bit of an overview that we had so it has this sort of weird structure around the dining area with the pillars and some statues and that is essentially all that's in here. Um, it's an okay asset pack, uh, nothing spectacular or anything like that but pretty functional and it all has the same style so uh, that's pretty nice. So if this is something that you need, maybe you want to make a ballroom kind of a uh, project, who knows. Uh, this might be useful to you. Next up we have the Archvis Interior Volume 3. So this is an asset pack that's meant for architectural visualization mainly, but you can probably use it for other things as well, depending on what your needs are. Uh, since it's for Archvis, the quality is going to be pretty high. It consists of about 80 different objects. And you can see that this is what it contains. So you have this sort of... Uh, lounge area here or small living room along with a kitchen and some small items to go along with that as well. Microwaves, ovens, utensils. We have some rooms over here to go into. We have the bedroom here and some TVs and small items around here. It's pretty sparse. It's a pretty small apartment or house. And over here, this is apparently the door to uh, the toilet for the guests that you don't like, so they fall down into the abyss forever. And yeah, looking outside of this object, you can see that it, this is very small. This is ex essentially all that we have. So again, uh, it's an okay pack. Uh, it's cohesive. Uh, the quality is high. You can see that it could easily be mistaken for something from real life because of that. And yeah. So if that's what you need, this pack might fill your needs. Next up, we have the basic multiplayer melee combat system. So what this system is, is a bunch of blueprints that are put together to create a very simple combat system. You can see over here if we check. Actually, it's not very visible. Let's uh, start the game up and, and then I can show you. So you have some simple controls, uh, you have some simple interactions. Um, you can see there on the right here, we can have with our left click, we do an attack, with our right click, we do a block, we have a kick with our E button, we can lock rotation, which means it will have a specific AI that it keeps uh, rotating around. So regardless of where we are, it will keep tracking on it. So it's a lock on kind of system. Um, other than that, we also have a camera toggle to toggle between first person and third person. We also have a R key if we want to pick up weapons. We can run up here and pick up this stave. So now we have the stave, so we can fight with our stave instead. We can also run over here and get a small hand crossbow. So now we have a hand crossbow that we can use to shoot around with. And you can also holster your weapon. And you can get kicked by AI. And you can also uh, dodge with the C key and you can also reload with the T key if you have a 
crossbow. So those are the controls. Also, you have a shield bash. So if we run up and pick up our swords quickly, there we go. Okay, and now we are getting some frame drops, and we're respawning. So so there are some basic controls here available. Uh, let's see if we can actually get some some kind of combat in here, and I can show you approximately what it's all about. Uh, it, it is simple, just like it is described. Um, you have some basic attacks. Um, and some spongy opponents. You can spam your key and it will handle the animations fairly well. In addition to that, you can also kick your enemies, which is impressive because you sort of have a superhuman kick. They totally go flying. And if you manage, you can also uh, kick your opponents into the center area here with uh, the spikes, and if they get hit, um, so that they land on the spikes, they essentially go into ragdoll mode and stand still. There we go. So they go into ragdoll mode and just hang around there for a bit. So that's uh, essentially all that you can do inside of this. And this blueprint system is consisting of, uh, according to the page, it consists of four actor components and some other blueprints. According to documentation, there's five actor components. If you look into the project itself, you can actually see that you have seven actor components and then three additional ones here, so ten. Um, so I'm not entirely sure what's going on here, what's uh, like being meant as the actor component. It could be that the documentation has just not been keeping up with updates, possibly. Uh, but yeah, what this project is, is probably a okay learning project um, because it makes use of a bunch of different uh, framework blueprints. Like for example, you have your uh, game modes, you have your game states and you can go into your game states and you can see what, what, what's going on in, in the game state and how it's communicating with different other uh, blueprints and you can do the same for your game modes and such and you have your controllers and your characters and you can see how they're all structured um, that's something that isn't very common that um, it's covered how how these um, framework classes can be used um, so, so that's something that you can make use of this so some of these things are interesting to learn from i think uh, some are a bit hit and miss it's a little bit depending on what kind of thing you're looking at uh, but overall you do have a bunch of different things here you can at least like explore and build upon uh, the asset itself claims to be a prototype kind of an asset so you can use it for prototyping a melee combat system or have it as a foundation to build upon further um, you can see here on a character that consists of a bunch of different blueprints uh, blueprint components that have a bunch of different um, areas of responsibility so you have some things that handle your animations to make sure that they're synced so you can have combo finishers and such things ragdolling multiplayer the lock-on system attacks for the montage and stuff like that and also combos and such uh, combat and such so there's a bunch of different things to uh, look into here um it it is a a system that's cool in some ways and a little bit weak in other ways uh, but overall i think it might be a, a okay learning experience for those that want to sort of dig into it and and find out how it works so that is going to be all regarding the assets of this month. I hope that this video was useful and that it gave you some insight into what you are getting and maybe get you curious about what things you want to explore further. Anyway, that's going to be all for now. Keep on learning. Take care. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.